Hello, I am Gopagumar. Welcome to your math tutor. Here we focus on helping you to solve the problems in engineering mathematics in the easiest possible way from an exam point of view. If you are interested in theory, then check out NP10. Obtain the Lorentz expansion of one by Z minus Z cube in one less than mod Z plus one less than two. We have f of Z equal to one by Z minus Z cube. Upon factorizing the denominator, we can write 1 by Z minus Z cube is in the form of 1 by Z into 1 minus Z into 1 plus Z. Let us apply partial fraction on 1 by Z into 1 minus Z into 1 plus Z, then we get A by Z plus B by 1 minus Z plus C by 1 plus Z. Upon taking LCM on denominator, then we get LCM as Z into 1 minus Z into 1 plus Z. Each term on LHS and RHS is multiplied with LCM, then 1 by Z into 1 minus Z into 1 plus Z is multiplied with LCM, we get 1 and the term a by z is multiplied with lcm we get 1 minus z into 1 plus z into a And the term B by 1 minus Z is multiplied with LCM. Then we get 1 Z into 1 plus Z. And C by 1 plus Z is multiplied with LCM. Then we get C into Z into 1 minus Z. Now we have the equation 1 is equal to A into 1 minus Z into 1 plus Z plus B into Z into 1 plus Z plus C into Z into 1 minus Z. We need to find the values of A, B and C. For that, let us put Z is equal to 1 in equation 1. Then we get B is equal to 1 by 2. Similarly, put Z is equal to minus 1 in equation 1. We get C is equal to minus 1 by 2. Put 
is it equal to zero in equation one? We get a is equal to one. Let us now substitute a is equal to one, b is equal to one by two, c is equal to minus one by two. In a by z plus b by z minus one plus c by z plus one, then one by z into one minus z into one plus z becomes one by z. B is one by two. Then one by two into One minus a z c is minus one by two. Then c by one plus c z becomes minus one by two into one plus a z. After applying partial fraction, we get f of z as One by a z plus one by two into one minus a z minus one by two into one plus a z. In this question, given constraint is one less than mod z plus one less than two. From this condition, we should understand that the final answer should be in terms of z plus one. Let us put z plus one equal to u in given condition then 1 less than mod z plus 1 less than 2 becomes 1 less than mod u less than 2 we can write 1 less than mod u less than 2 into 2 conditions that is one less than mod u and mod u less than two. We know that the binomial expansion of one plus z whole raised to minus one equal to one plus z plus z square plus z cube and so on provided mod z less than 1. Therefore, we should change 1 less than mod u into 1 by mod u less than 1 and mod u less than 2 into mod u by 2 less than 1 to make it of form mod z less than 1. Also, we can write z plus 1 equal to u as z is equal to u minus 1. Substitute z is equal to u minus 1 in f of z then f of z becomes 1 by u minus 1 plus 1 by 2 into 1 minus z is u minus 1 minus 1 by 2 into 1 plus z becomes 1 plus u minus 1. 
which is equal to 1 by u minus 1 plus 1 by 2 into 2 minus u minus 1 by 2u. Most important thing to note here is the term u minus 1 should be in the form 1 by u and the term 2 minus u should be in the form u by 2. To apply the binomial expansion, 1 minus is at whole inverse equal to 1 plus z plus z square plus z cube and so on. Therefore, take u common from u minus 1 to make it of the form 1 by u then u into 1 minus 1 by u plus 1 by 2 into take 2 common from 2 minus u to make it of the form u by 2 then 2 minus u becomes 2 into 1 minus u by 2 minus 1 by 2u. Here, we can write f of z as 1 by u into 1 minus 1 by u whole inverse plus 1 by 4 into 1 minus u by 2 whole inverse minus 1 by 2u. We know that 1 minus z whole raised to minus 1 is 1 plus z plus z square plus z cube and so on provided mod z less than 1. Then f of z is equal to 1 by u into expansion of 1 minus 1 by u whole inverse is 1 plus 1 by u plus 1 by u square plus 1 by u cube plus 1 by u raised to 4 and so on plus One by four into the expansion of one minus u by two whole inverse is one plus u by two plus u by two the whole square plus u by two the whole cube plus u by 2 whole raised to 4 and so on minus 1 by 2u multiplying with 1 by u then 1 by u plus 1 by u square plus 1 by u square becomes 1 by u cube plus 1 by u cube becomes 1 by u raised to 4 plus 1 by u raised to 4 becomes 1 by u raised to 5 and so on plus 1 by 4 into 1 plus u by 2 plus u by 2 the whole square
plus u by 2 the whole cube. and so on. Minus 1 by 2u. Simplify like terms. Then 1 by u minus 1 by 2u is equal to 1 by 2u. Then f of z is equal to 1 by 2u plus 1 by u square plus 1 by u cube plus 1 by u raised to 4 plus 1 by 4 into One plus u by two plus u by two the whole square plus u by two the whole cube now u is replaced with z plus 1 then f of z becomes 1 by 2 into z plus 1 plus 1 by z plus 1 the whole square plus 1 by z plus 1 the whole cube plus 1 by z plus 1 whole raised to 4 and so on plus 1 by 4 into 1 plus z plus 1 by 2 plus z plus 1 by 2 the whole square plus z plus 1 by 2 the whole cube. Which is the required Lorentz expansion. Hello.